In fact, it's been 65 years since the United Nations named June 23rd International Widows Day, and the community just keeps on growing, unfortunately, because each day, about 2,800 women will become a widow in the United States alone. Yeah, the local organization Widow Might is launching Widows with Kiddos with an inaugural picnic this Sunday, June 23rd. And joining us this morning is the co-organizer of Widows with Kiddos, Erin Henty. Good morning, Erin. Good morning. Good thanks morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for being here this morning. Um, I didn't even realize that that was a day yeah. that came up uh, every year. Again, I, I guess I'm, I'm fortunate to not know that that's a day that comes up every year. Is that a... And I'm not, I'm not trying to paint myself as, as just living in my ignorant bubble, but is that something you, you do kind of go against, uh, kind of forces that when people all of a sudden are widowed, you have this, this new person that doesn't even know your world exists or an organization exists to benefit them? Yeah, definitely. I think that, um, you know, these days are a good opportunity for us to be able to spotlight or shed some light on those people who have lost individuals in their life. And mm -hmm. so, you know, I'm, I'm grateful to have met a wonderful group of young women and, and men throughout the community who have lost somebody and be able to build connections with them. You mentioned that you actually know Nora, or at least know of Nora and her organization, the, the woman we just spoke about who was on the RuPaul show, um, and, you know, her organization, Young Hot Widows. When you think widow, I think a lot of people think that would gear older. Um, but you mentioned you've met a lot of young women. This is a, a community that shows no age, and, and, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of young women who are going through this challenging experience, like yourself. Yeah. Over the years, through the different support groups that I've been a part of, whether it's her online support group, Widow Mites events that they do, um, also Children's Grief Connection, who's also partnering with us for this picnic. Um, they provide family grief camps, and there's other wonderful resources that are available that we're hoping to get our young widows connected with. But yes, every day I'm meeting more and more um, women that are walking the same path as mm -hmm. I am, and it's a uh, we're happy to have met each other, but also, like, sad that we all have to walk this path that we're on yeah, together. Yeah, sad that your paths have crossed yeah. for that reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us more about Sunday's event, the Widows for Kiddos. What is that about? Yeah, a great opportunity to connect young women and their children mm -hmm. with the resources that are available, both grief support as well as just building a great network of, of women that they can connect with um, throughout their journey. Yeah, because it's not just the spouse who's grieving. Yes. And sometimes because, the family. yeah, and sometimes that spouse is grieving so much that the kid might be kind of yeah. left, left, not left on their own. But, you know, I mean, you're dealing with your own grief, mm -hmm. let alone to try to help yeah. your, your child. Yeah, we don't always know how to best support our children, but mm -hmm. these organizations have been doing it for a long time. And so to be able to even just get the kids together to make some new friends and find out how they can stay connected um, down the road will be amazing. Sure. I can only imagine the uh, the reaction to all this has been positive from everyone that's, that's wanted to take part. Absolutely. Um, I think we had underestimated uh, the impact mm. that this may have for our community, but there are those out there that are just new in their journey or some that have been along their journey quite a few years that don't know how to get connected with others mm -hmm. and they're really excited to be able to have this opportunity to do that. So we're really excited about it. Yeah, so I mean, I guess what would your your message be to someone who's maybe watching at home and is in the grieving process and may be struggling and, and is it reach out is it get out there and meet some other people what would your piece of advice be for those folks you know I think the first step is just to take the next step mm -hmm. we don't know what that is going to be and if it's coming to this um, and just meeting some people everyone's going to get out of it what they want um, I'm hoping that those people who are on the fence about it, who may be a little bit nervous, this is a great opportunity. It's not a formal gathering. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a way to very ease into meeting some new people, getting the kids connected. And what better way than a setting like this? Sure, you add kids into it so it's a little less maybe intimidating or less formal. Yeah, kind of. absolutely. If someone's watching and, and perhaps either is maybe ha is not a widow themselves or, or or hasn't directly been impacted, but maybe they just, they know the struggle and wants to just help in some way. How can someone do that? Yep, absolutely. Well, with the organizations that are supporting us, widowmite.org is a great place to go to reach out um, and be able to find out um, a little bit more about that organization and how they can help. But also, if there is a widow out there that they may know, 
send a message, like just be there for them mm -hmm. um, and use this as an opportunity to be able to kind of get a better understanding of where they're at because we never know what someone's going through each yeah. and every day regardless of whether they're a widow or not. Mm -hmm. For sure. Aaron, yeah. thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate you being here and, and talking about this. Obviously, a community that is growing but also supporting one another. So Absolutely. thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. Sunday's uh, inaugural event, Widows with Kiddos Picnic, starts at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's at Minnehaha Regional Park. For more information, including, you know, to RSVP. Do you have to RSVP? You'd like them to RSVP. Yeah. Visit widowmite.org.